Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. So I'm having so many problems today. I swear it feels like a retrograde, but I'm gonna go ahead and start on your reading again. It was super dark. The video was super long. So I'm gonna start again and hopefully this time the reading will come out much easier. It was very, very dark in the room for some reason. It wasn't picking up any light. This is so weird. Okay, so let's see what we have here for you, Aries. It looks a little brighter. <gasps> Show us Aries for the day. What's happening for Aries today? The Knight of Coin. So there's Earth Element Energy coming in. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be a message regarding money. Six of Air. Something gets easier or somebody could be avoiding. Something here is changing. Someone in the past or most recent past here was like Four of Cups. Not really interested. Showing no interest. The root of the issue is there is change. Okay, we still have this water energy coming in. Temperance. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. So emotional messenger coming in. Something requires patience. Tempered emotions. Page of coin. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Strength card. Someone around you is exercising self-control you want to be queen of air okay you want to be smart you want to be witty you want to be intellectual you want to rise above you want to be honest too two of cups okay the outcome is good two of cups strong bond you have with someone based on emotions an ally a friend some kind of emotional connection you're receiving the message regarding something tangible, real. Bottom of the deck is six of wands, victory and wins. You know, something here about winning, victory, um, overcoming challenges. Who or what is this knight of water? Who or what is the knight of water? Ooh, okay. So it's the same reading. <laughs> Um, we have a tower in the page of wands. Something here is like a crisis, a shock, a surprise. Someone comes in with their emotions and their feelings. There is a five of wands on the bottom. There is something about conflict, um, competition. What is the page of coin here? Hangman. Having an epiphany, having a wake-up call. You feel stuck in a situation. What is the strength card? Okay, ace of coin, a new beginning, a new development. A seed is planted. There is something real around you. You become aware of, what is the ace of coin here? The king of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, emotional king. So somebody comes towards you with emotions and feelings. Why does it require temperance? Star card. Hope for the future. Healing. Rapid recovery. Letting something go. Aquarius energy. You're in a situation where you don't do anything. You literally just sort of observe. You could feel like you are stuck. What is the tower here? Okay, six of coin, donation, gifts, balance, wealth, prosperity. Something is owed or given to bring in the balance. Seven of swords is underlying. There's something someone isn't saying. What is the wheel here for Aries? What is the wheel? Okay, something here changes. There could have been a toxic situation that you're dealing with situation with a Capricorn the wheel starts to turn on a situation that was toxic something changes what is two of cups what is two of cups 
Page of Swords. Spying, watching, observing. Magician, Gemini. Strong Gemini energy. You want to give advice is what this is. You want to be the queen of the air. Um, you want to give wisdom. You want to give honesty when a person comes towards you expressing how they feel. Their emotions are intense. And you feel like you feel like you're there's nothing you can do about it with the hangman. You feel like you're sacrificing. What is the hangman here? Why is Aries feeling like they're stuck or hanging in limbo? Seven of Swords. Information that is hidden or kept private. I don't think you're lying. I mean, I don't. I don't think you're lying to someone. It could be that you're not telling someone about something. What is the Seven of Swords? Queen of Water and the Death. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, You are possibly keeping something private. The Death and the Fool. Okay, wow. Somebody is ending something, taking a leap of faith, ending something. Setting themselves free. What is the six of coin that you become aware of with the tower? What is the shock? Shock or surprise? Four of coin. Somebody's holding on to what they have. What is the devil here with the wheel? Eight of cups. Okay. Walking away from something, not giving your emotions, not partnering with someone. Nine of air. Something is quite stressful. Somebody decides to depart or leave or put space what is the magician here with the page of swords two of wands somebody's doing something doing something short-sighted king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo your energy is influenced by uh, there's a new development in the environment that leads to a change. Now, there is a benefit you're receiving. And something in the future requires patience or tempered emotions. It requires moderation. But you will recover and you will heal the death and the fool. There's a new beginning coming. The outcome was a two of cups. You have an ally, a friend, or a partner victory okay so you're over what you don't see is that you are winning you are overcoming there is something here about possibly arguments about a third party or about friends about social life um, one person here is quite bitter holding on to anger five of swords justice ten of wands somebody feels a lot of pressure okay you end up in a partnership with someone an ally a friend what is this two of cups? What is the two of cups? What is the two of cups? The justice and the knight of cups. Okay. It could be good news regarding any kind of legal matter. I mean, you're becoming aware of emotions and feelings, an extension of feelings with fair. Oh, okay. Now we have the nine of cups. So we have possibly a wish coming true. Um, it could be a donation, a gift, a financial reward, or um, you're being, okay, something you had to fight for, or somebody is defending something, they're focusing on their money. What is the death and the fool? The magician. Something is being solved or fixed. The death causes the, is the change, the permanent change, and what is the wheel? What is the wheel with the devil? Something here is changing about a okay, page of cups, knight of fire, nine of fire. Somebody's really trying really hard um, to fix something. There is something here about se seven of swords, untrue statements, things that are not truthful. The real truth is taken and hidden 
Freedom in the Ace of Water. Wow. Some of you have new love, new feelings coming in. Freedom, new happiness. Could be a legal matter in your favor. What is the Aries energy with the hangman? You could be waiting for something. The judgment. Okay, so you have a big decision. You could have God's divine grace blessing you. Um, who is the king of water? Queen. Okay, so there is an earth element energy here. Queen of pentacles. Somebody could have very strong feelings. Um, we have the emperor, could be a father, father figure, emperor is Aries or a boss. Somebody feels like they're in charge. And what is the outcome? You get justice in night, the knight of cups. So somebody expresses how they feel and they enforce the truth. Ten of swords tried to flip, two of swords. Hermit, Virgo energy. Somebody shines a light on something, provides you with the wisdom. Chariot moving forward fast. <clears throat> so show us what is the outcome or what is this all about here for my Aries friends. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Someone with the earth in their chart or somebody making a commitment. Financial wealth. The hangman feeling stuck. The chariot moving forward fast. Knight of swords, six of coin. Six of coin is a benefit. Somebody's receiving a benefit. And the three of coin, a shared benefit. What is this energy of Aries? They're, you're going through a judgment or you're making a decision. The sun, something's being illuminated to you. Um, what's the outcome? Well, I got the chariot, the hangman, the knight of swords. You're receiving a benefit. Show us the outcome. Eight of Cups, walking away, putting space or distance between you and a situation. Page of Water, Four of Wands. Somebody is coming in saying a ship has arrived. Good news. What is the Fool energy? Why is there freedom? Two of Wands. Okay. Doing something impulsively, last minute, Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. What is the Emperor here? The world, very accomplished, and Ten of Cups. Could be a long distance relationship with someone too. And the Ace of Swords. You're getting truth, information, news that you didn't have before. Clarity. There could be something about a family or family member. And a Two of Cups. You have an ally, you have a friend, you have a bond. Oof. Five of Swords. Queen of Swords. Giving advice to someone. Okay. Somebody here, again, is afflicted. Somebody is going through a problem. Wheel of Fortune, High Priestess, Judgment, Shared, Shared, Fear. Somebody feels like they're trapped in a situation where they have to give or share or give money, give benefits, pay. Um, you are wanting to be the energy of a Libra. You want to give good advice, fair advice peaceful information there's an official person occupation and great fortune oh wow and a house okay someone's in despair over something to do with court
something to do with court, legal matters, marriage, main female, and a child. Okay. You're wanting to be the queen of air. Okay. So you're wanting to be truthful, honest. You're wanting to put your emotions aside. Somebody is coming towards you with their feelings. Free will. Okay. You are a free spirit. So there's something about free will, freedom. Something about faith, having confidence, trust that's unwavering. And we have religion. There are commandments, rules, or canons that you follow. Hope. You have bright prospects, hope, and wishes that come true for you. Okay. This is actually really, really nice. It ends with harmony. It ends with you and another person in a mutually beneficial, supportive situation. But you're wanting to be queen of the swords, which is Libra. You're wanting to be direct, honest, clear, give advice, give direction. Um, you're not king of swords. You're not like, this is final, this is it. You're more like an advisory energy. Now, you're also in a judgment energy based on Seven of Swords, um, the Empress and the Sun. Now, there could be something to do with a mother, sister, grandma, anything to do with a goddess of love is here, and the sun is shining on that. Um, it could also be your self-worth. person around you is in the world, and the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, Queen of Coin. Okay, so I keep having the cards of justice come up. So I feel like there is something about enforcing the truth or the enforcement of truth. So probably justice in your favor here. Um, the Empress and the Sun as your energy. You probably are going to come out ahead benefiting financially. So Aries, this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, Aries.